Today, I'm finally going to be upgrading my Tyrannus X9D Plus from the OpenTX firmware to the Edge TX firmware. Edge TX firmware is where all the updates are happening, all the active development is going on. So I want to breathe some new life into this radio because it's still a fantastic radio in 2022. Let's get into the update. We'll be using the uh, new Edge TX firmware flash tool. The goal is get our models still bound and all the settings and everything migrated over. So let's begin. As eager as we may be to jump in to Edge TX and put it on this radio, the responsible thing to do would be to back it up. So get your OpenTX companion out, hopefully for the last time, and we're going to go ahead and read the models from the radio. We need to put the Tyrannus into bootloader mode. So let's remember how to do that. We hold the trim switches in and we turn the radio on. Then we're going to go ahead and connect our USB cable. Please make sure it is not a data uh, it is a data cable and not a power cable. Now we have USB connected and it opens the Tyrannus file system here. Uh, we can go ahead and read models and settings from the radio. And here this is where we can take a backup of the model and save it. We can just save it anywhere we want, save it to the desktop. I personally have a little hobby folder here where I save my models. And we can then also save a copy of the firmware if we want to. We can read a copy of the firmware from the radio and literally just save what it save what's there. So I'm going to call this uh, Tyrannus OpenTX firmware, and that will read the firmware from the radio and save it for you just in case something happens and you want to go back to OpenTX exactly as it is. There you go. We've got everything all saved there. Now, as an added measure, it's also advisable to go into the model menu and go to the backup menu and back up each model just like this. I've only got the quadcopter model, honestly, that I care about at this point, so I'm just going to back that one up. But you should do this for each model. Just hold down that enter button and then just like backup model. That'll, that should back it up to the SD card. That should make 110% sure that's also on your card. All right, so we're going to turn the Tyrannus off now and go ahead and go to Get Edge TX. We're going to go to the Edge TX Flasher downloads, and I'm on Windows, so my choice would be Edge TX Flasher here, this executable file. Uh, I already have it installed, so we're not going to waste time on that. It's just a standard Windows installer. All right, I'm going to plug the radio in with it turned off and hopefully be able to install Edge TX here. We're not in bootloader mode. We're just gonna try to flash it with uh, DFU mode. Didn't do anything to it. I didn't hold anything down. We're just completely off, and I'm going to press flash firmware to see if that works. All right, it's flashing, and it's, I guess, yep, doing it this way. Okay, so I'm going to click close. It says, thank you for using Edge TX. Okay, I got, a, I got a storage warning here. It's converting the EEPROM. I did see the uh, Edge TX. Oh, well, we're on Edge TX now. We're on Edge TX. Now we, we do need to write to the SD card. Okay, so we're going to go to the uh, SD card preparation tool area, and we're going to power it up into bootloader mode, and it'll give us an option. Now, we actually, you can see that we've also got the Edge TX bootloader now. So we can plug it in, and that'll give us access to the mass storage option. All right, so on the setup SD card page, we're going to choose X9D+. Plus. I'm going to scroll down here. Yes, I want the Express LRS Lewis scripts. That's cool. I can see, I, I can choose all of that there. That's neat. Uh, let's see. Now, all right, cool. I can see my 4 gigabyte Tyrannus SD card in this disk selection list. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, I don't want to erase the disk before flashing. Hopefully, we're just going to get it all upgraded, and hopefully it works. 
John from the future here. Unfortunately, it did not work. The SD card tool in the Edge TX Flasher is broken. At least it was broken for me at the time of this video. I saw there were other people that had the issue as well. And rather than waste your time on that, I'm just letting you know, it did not work for me. And I'm going to walk through the next steps in this video of how to just do it the classic way of downloading the files and dragging them on the card. Hopefully it'll work by the time that you watch this. So we'll make our way back to the Edge TX website under Get Edge TX, and we're gonna go to SD card downloads, and they've got for the Tyrannus X9 here, we can get the latest uh, X9 SD card pack. I wanna be able to copy the SD card contents all right, so there's my Tyrannus 4G, 4 gigabyte SD card, and there's the zip file. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and drag this from here to here. And it's just gonna copy all that stuff over. I'm gonna replace the fi files. So now hopefully, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my radio here. Uh, we should be up to date with Edge TX on our SD card now. Well, the radio looks like it's been upgraded to Edge TX, which is exactly what I wanted. And it doesn't have the newer sounds. I'll have to drop the sound pack on there. They also have that on the website under the sound pack downloads. Uh, it's unfortunate that the Edge TX flasher at this time couldn't go ahead and do all of that for me. But maybe when you do this, you'll be lucky enough and it'll be fixed for you to do that. Yep, you can see that we are on Edge TX 2.6.0, so we're ready to rock and roll and do whatever the heck we want with this thing. Uh, one thing I want to check, since apparently it migrated my model settings and all that stuff, it looks like it looks like things have been migrated. I mean, my this is my mode switch here, and it is changing. This this little guy, okay, cool. So this little guy is still bound. And I can still fly this. So I've migrated to Edge TX. Looks like my binds are good, my models are good. I'm, I'm ready to go. So that's it. We did it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed going through the process with me of breathing some new life into this Tyrannus X90 Plus radio, getting it ready to get the most out of everything that's going on in the Edge TX world today. I'm going to be putting Express LRS on here. This is a great radio. It's still a fantastic radio. I've got the Hall Effect gimbal upgrade I did to mine a long time ago. Um, if this did video did help you, please leave me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I got more RC content and tutorials on this channel coming up. And with that being said, you guys have a great day. I'm going to do some flying and you guys take care. Surrounds me if we hold ourselves together.